just just go live and we'll do all the titles in a bit. wave too hard mate, don't want to start oscillating the crane. <laughs> Come to you in a minute, Squire. So folks, this is a um, British Airways uh, maintenance flight out to Cardiff for this Boeing trip at uh, 747. Now, um, she could go up very, very early. Possibly off for a, a sea check. I think the only time they really go to Cardiff is uh, when they are up for some serious maintenance, but here we go. This one with no blisters on her, so is a retirement aircraft, not this, not this flight. Could go right up here, right where we are here, right opposite our position. It'll be very empty. Here we go. here we come. It's about a 25 minute flight, I think. Uh, possibly a sea check um, or a structural check or uh, something like that. They will do engine replacements here at Heathrow, on wing checks, hydraulics, etc, etc, you know, um, ancillary checks. Look how high she's gone already, man. 
She'll probably only um, hit about 25,000 feet, I would have thought. Maybe a little bit more. So uh, there we go, American Airlines 777. Distinct um, lack of British Airways uh, aircraft here today, folks, as you're aware. Perth bound Qantas Dreamliner. Little uh, Eurowings uh, 319, I think. Uh, making its way out for departure. Uh, possibly going to sneak in unless your knife... Your knife It's going to... Uh... So due to the, um, due to the, uh, I'd, I'd imagine due to the British Airways strike, um, strike one. We have a full capacity uh, here at uh, the Renaissance Hotel. So we're a little bit further down, uh, hence the uh, lamp posts. Our good friend Sal, who's a pilot with uh, United, putting his own little video together of him landing during a storm show last month, which was uh, great to see. And hello to Sal, if you're watching, my friend, out there on the uh, on the state side. Brilliant. So that's a new member there on YouTube. Uh, let me just, I'll come to your comments in a minute, folks. Oh, uh, that'll be uh, possibly, is that, is that possibly this triple, Jilly? Oh, right. Okay. So he's not out early, is he? They might be uh, they might be putting them out early just because of the um say bad day. So what's this in there? Quarters one, quarters oh look at this. United! Look at that, United Triple Seven Star Alliance. Got the uh, the Air China 330 Star Alliance in here today. So a few um a few of the American operators possibly putting on more aircraft uh, to cover the, um, the surge in demand, I'd have guessed, from the... Um, he's just come in, I think, or is he going out? He's... Uh, no, he's going out. So, uh, Qantas uh, going out there. Uh, good eye. So, just going to... Come to the Crikey. Is it? Is it? 
Okay, well, she's going to push back right in front of us, GP. She's going to push back right in front of us. Uh, yeah, yeah, so we're going to get a... So it's almost stating the obvious. Which one is this? Q what? Which is Q what? What is this, GP? Quantus 10. All the way to Perth. Guys, you've got to give me a couple of minutes while I um, while I deal with these departing aircraft. Uh, if you want me to zoom into certain um, areas, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Triple seven. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. I'm going to go to him in a minute. I'm going to go to him in a minute. Get on with your work. Here we go. set of GEs on it. Might see a little bit of wing fluff. Mm, nice. Followed by someone today on Twitter who's a uh, who's another uh, um, a bit like um, Carl the Astronomer. He's a um, what is he? Uh, he d deals with um, atmospherics, astron astronautical scientist. No, no, no. It was it was it was something to do with um, uh, 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 condensate um, atmospherics, atmospheric scientist or something, wasn't it? This is United. Rudder, a lot of rudder. Wow. <laughs> Professor of Atmospheric Science. Loving that. He's on the BBC regularly, so we'll have to have a chat with him about Vortex. And uh, we kind of know what it is. It is the uh, the the mist, the the air. Wow! Look at that. Whoa! Easy, son. Wow. Okay, Cathay Pacific trip. So let's see if we can get our man in the crane here. Look, look. Now, look at this. Look at this deadness. Welcome to the dead zone. Okay, let's see if we can get him. Look. Is he? Uh, where is it? Where's he at? Is he? Which bit's he in? Is he in? Is is in that bit there? And he is in in that little in that little cabin there. Hold on a minute. Which bit's he in? No. There's all the weights. That's all the counterbalance weights. That's obviously, that's obviously, uh, it is in there. I'm pretty sure it is, but I can't see in there. He's got smoke, he's got smoke glass, and he? Mate, whatever that noise is needs to shut up. Thank you. <laughs> oh, leave it out. 
Try to zoom in on you, mate, but we can't see you. You need to come out on your uh, on your little gall on your little gantry there, and give us a wave. But I don't want to sort of like take you away from your job and all that kind of thing. Stephen Richards, 65-inch screen, baby. Well, let's uh, let's fill your 65-inch screen up with a Cathay Pacific 300 ER in the old livery. Look at that old girl. Lovely. <laughs> Wobbly. Really? Oh dear. I think that might be. Uh, yeah, that's Air India's. Uh, jo oh, shut up, man. Uh, someone's car alarm, man. Oh, we can't have that going on all through the show, man. Yeah. I think. Hold on a minute, hold on a minute, have I just seen a door open there? No. Ah, hold on a minute. Now I can kind of see. Give us a wave, give us a wave, chap, give us a wave. But don't go breaking my heart. Oh, he's working, isn't he, look? He's got the, he's got the crane in operation, isn't he? So let's not, let's, let's not take him away from his, uh, from his job there. He's actually got the, um, he's got something on the bottom of the, uh... oh mate, that is seriously annoying, man. I might have to go and have a look and see if that's one of the ones in the other parking lot, because if it is, then they can go and turn that off. Okay, so we know that it's got a period of time that it will uh, run for. Oh, here's that 777 tie being pushed back. So we're going to see all exotics today, folks. It's like we're not even in London. It's like we're, uh... yeah.
<laughs> yeah. Look at that wing flex, man. So if you're wondering, folks, uh, if you're tuning in from somewhere else around the world and you're wondering, hey, what's going on? Why are there no British Airways aircraft here? Believe it or not, first time, um, I think this is the biggest strike that British Airways, uh, in the history of British Airways, has ever had. Um, everybody has their own opinion on... Um, it's a pay dispute with the pilots, that's the reason. Um, I think all the other maintenance crews and so on and so forth are still fully operational. Uh, even the check-in staff and people on the phones obviously working frantically to try and rebook uh, people who've um, had their flight cancelled, etc, etc. Um, everybody has their own opinions and uh, thoughts on uh, the, 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 the problem that the union has with British Airways, um, the pilots' union. Personally, if I was a pilot, I would be speaking to the pilots' union and saying, hey, listen, I'll be honest with you, I'm quite happy with my, um, with my salary. Uh, I'm quite happy with my um, comfortable life and uh, an offer of um, a pay increase. I'll take that and uh, carry on flying, if that's all right. But I don't think they're allowed to. Right, OK, here we go. Uh, Thai Airways 7 on the pushback. Uh, you know, there's uh, there's a lot of people. Oh, fire up! Number one. Lee Russell, Steve Richards, I, Fred, shake the maker. Here you go, number two start up. That's a Virgin Atlantic uh, tug that's just pushed that Thai triple back. Saw Delta uh, Seven. Was it? Did we see a Delta Seven Fifty Seven at Dublin on Saturday? I think it was. Multiple overflies with Delta as well. So, folks, we are waiting for um, Red Velvet, um, Virgin Atlantic's second A Three Fifty One Thousand to be delivered into their fleet. The first, uh, the second one's actually going to beat the first one into uh, commercial service. And hello to anybody watching right now on um, 
on either Facebook or YouTube who might be watching from Virgin Atlantic. Okay. Air India's Dreamliner. If anyone asks, by the way, we, we don't get we we, we don't ask to uh, be invited to fly out on these inaugural floats, flights, folks. Just because um, we kind of leave that down to um, the um, the professionals, the likes of um, Noel Phillips, and of course uh, all the other vloggers um, who. Uh, is their profession. We do the outside stuff like this. Pushing back, but that's not pushing back, that's going again. Oh, come on, that. Sorry about that. So yeah, we are waiting for Red Velvet to uh, make its uh, appearance. Hopefully she's going to taxi up this side and not uh, up the other side. Sam Lancaster tuning in from Boston. Uh, got a few new members. Uh, good morning to everybody watching and new supporters. Uh, MKR watched Knowles around the world in 80 hours last night. Fantastic viewing. There we go. Hello to Noel if you're watching. I guess he's busy probably uh, on this flight with Virgin. Glenn Knowles, uh, does this mean that with this strike 747 retirements get uh, delayed due to the backlog? No, I wouldn't have thought so. Um, this will be all over with and forgotten within a couple of days. Uh, but the, um, I do know that the pilots are threatening uh, that if there's no resolution, there will be another strike uh, at the end of the month, as early as the end of the month. So it could be again. It's not for me to say, really. I mean, at the end of the day, I don't know what the comparative average earnings for a pilot with Lufthansa, the national airline of uh, Germany, for example, um, or, um, or American Airlines or what have you. I don't know what the comparable um, average salary is, but I have to be honest with you, from my point of view, if I was um, somebody doing a job that I'd love so much to do, there are thousands of people out there who would snap the arm off of these guys just to get a, uh, um, a seat flying on these uh, these beautiful jetliners for probably half of that salary you know um, but there you go it is each to their own and when you run by a union um, then you're sort of like locked in to um, that sort of part of the business um, you know British Airways have offered an 11 and a half percent pay increase uh, on top of the, I think, uh, average salary of around about £65,000, uh, plus all their expenses, don't forget. You get to fly to uh, glamorous locations. OK, maybe not so much when you're, um, when you're on the, um, the short-haul stuff, but even so, let's face it, if you're a pilot, surely you'd love doing what you're doing and you're getting paid for it. Yeah, there you go. Oh, 
I don't know what the ruling is with pilots who who are perhaps in a position to say, look, come on, man, you know, I'm happy with my salary. Um, I don't need any more money. I mean, it's great that you're offering it and you're offering me an 11.5% pay increase at the end of the year. I'll take that. And, um, you know, I love flying for my uh, national airline, uh, the national carrier, and um, getting all these benefits and perks that I get from being a pilot with the national airline. Uh, can I not go and fly? Um, am I bound by what the... I'm not sure if, 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 the, if the pilots are able to sort of like, you know, go against the wishes of the union. I'm not sure what the ruling is there. Okay, but anyway, let's uh, try and stay away as much as we can from polit politics and watch some big jets going out. Diesel 1313, Clive Everly, Shaker Maker, Rob Cold Goldthorpe. He'd swap his forklift license for a pilot's license. Andy, uh, good afternoon. Stephen Billings. <laughs> Joe Smith. Jilly, is this perhaps the uh, the fellow on this American? 150, this is it, isn't it? We've got someone on this aircraft, folks. Which side's he on? A friend of a member. I don't know where he's at. G flux is it? G V L U X. She's going to. Informing everybody who's watching at the moment who might be a little bit confused as to why there are no British Airways flights. Filling them in on what is already common knowledge on the news. So uh, don't want to talk about it anymore. We're done with it. Back to the main subject. Torb's watching. Happy birthday for yesterday, RT. 
sorry, I, man, I forgot to mention it on the show yesterday, on the brief show yesterday. So, um, is that the... Uh, no, no, that's not the uh, retro LLG minor. going out first. This is not the 350 folks, this is uh, Dreamliner. Ah, oh, we're going to, no, we're going to. So we are in a uh, we are in a more or less direct headwind situation here at London Heathrow, folks. There you can see the sock kind of limp, um, limp biscuit. Uh, so kind of derated on the takeoff power by the looks of things. Saudi Arabia's. Uh, Triple seven sitting there.
Wow. So she's not on radar at the moment, this uh, Saudia triple. Six silver, Chris Godwin. Sriram Harihan, good afternoon. English rocker Kevin Bowden. Okay, yeah, uh, like people are um, pointing out there. 13.30, 1.30 p.m. Uh, she's due out, folks. Not on radar at the moment. Got some stuff out um, over the other side. I've got a, ver I've got a BA 747 on radar over, uh, over the other side, but I think that's just being moved. Is it? Yeah, she's parked her over on the remote stand, uh, that El Al Dreamliner, uh, just coming from Tel Aviv. Air Canada, just in from Vancouver. Still waiting for this. Um, okay, looks like this Delta 332 is uh, going to be stepping in front of this... Uh, Cap, uh, in front of Saudi's triple. PW is on her, I think. It can be obviously a, a little bit of a... a um, log of sort of like uh, aircraft out of position after today of course uh, hearing reports of aircraft over in um, in Phoenix and New York uh, obviously out of position and out of sync Easy, son. Easy. Just follow that. Might hit that cloud. I don't know. Wow, noisy old girl. Those Pratt and Whitney's. To see if she hits that cloud or clips the bottom of it, possibly. Yeah, to see if we get a little bit of cloud action. She's maybe just disappeared straight into it, but might drill a hole in it. I don't know. Actually, I think it's a bit of a hot bikini usion. I think it's a little bit far, farther away. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. But mind you, she might scrape the bottom of it, pull a little bit of cloud with her. No. Nah, 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 nah. Okay, why is going? Oh, hello, 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 hello. What we got here? What we got here? What we got there? Dreamliner. I oh, know it's not a Dreamliner, is it? It's a, it's a triple seven. KLM triple seven, white. Washington DC. 
from the dam. Oh, she at flight level 37 or something? Summit like that, 36, yeah. Okay, somebody's moving. Wayne Harrison, good afternoon. Lane Bird, Kevin Bowden, Stevie Luscom, Jen Del Monte. Uh, reading out uh, channel members only comments, folks, by the way, if you're wondering uh, why your comments not being read out. It is free view, but it is for channel members only comments. Bigfoot. Oh, she's on the turn, that triple. Straight back to uh, Air Canada's uh, beautifully finished Bandit. Got some beautiful eyeliner on her. <laughs> Amy Winehouse styly. Replacement uh, nacelle on the number one. Hold up. Gonna bang. It's 
It's insane, mate. It's insane. We've had one departure so far. Boeing 747 with British Airways that went to Cardiff for maintenance. Probably there by now, I'd imagine. Mile creased, yes, estimated for 1330. So we should um, see her appear on radar quite soon, one would have thought. Nothing yet. Mark Anderson. Give a shout out to the people at Air Canada, um, or the people in Canada. Um, seeing that. Uh, Smokey's been sitting over there for quite some time. I don't know if she's at remote or what, but... Hi, good morning. Laura Lee. Malkster. Oh, uh, BA 747 was or is due to go to Bournemouth today for maintenance. Uh, well, we I did hear that that one was going to Cardiff, that one earlier on. Maybe it was Bournemouth. Imagine if we had the uh, the bloke who's, who's on BBC every morning when they when they're at the Houses of Parliament when he's shouting, "No Brexit!" Have you heard that bloke? Oh, he's so annoying, man. I mean, you know, each to their own and blah blah blah. But it is so. It's like it's like it's like yeah, it's like it's like having you know um, other people making loud remarks on your show when you're trying to. again. Yeah, it's a dodgy old motor as well. Smoking man. Proper smoky Joe that look at that. Old Pratt and Whitney's. Yeah. Call the astronomer. He's here, is he? It will go off again. Claire West really happy with her extra stripe. Hey, look at those two, uh, look at those two racing across the Atlantic. Dino's in the lead.
Oh, the rear one's uh, 380, is it? It is turning, isn't it? Yeah, it's slight left turn. Oh, look at that over the top of us, man. Look at that over the top of us. Egypt uh, triple. Is it? There's something about that Lufthansa in the old livery that I like. Oh wow, look at him. Is that him there? Is that him there? No, it's a four engine. That's a Air France 380, is it? Yeah. Oh, there she is, man. There's the 350. Let me just, uh... Some old manky BMW that's making that noise, folks. There's nothing I can do about it, I'm afraid. Sorry about that, is all I can say. Wow, look at those two on the turn there, man. And then right above us is that 350. Just get another shot at that. She's still in the turn. Come on, girl. Where are you? Is that 350, man? Why can't I get it? There she is, that's why. <laughs> Something about the Lufty in the old, uh, the Lufty 350 in the old livery, I like it, man. Yeah, yeah, I like it. I like it. It's kind of retro in a funny sort of way. Now, don't get me wrong, I do like the uh, new livery on the 350, but I do, I, I, you know, I also like the, uh, the old livery. Uh, just because it is kind of retro, even though it's not retro. Oh, yeah, look at that one there. Oh, wow, there's a Delta going, oh, I just missed those two. That's a shame, man. Suey Dreamliner. And then right, look, just cross paths with a, what looks like a Delta. Triple, possibly. Can't believe we've had no departure in the last, like, you know. They're usually chucking them out, aren't it? And we're chucking them out normally. No, man, no, 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 no. This one coming into shot any moment now. There she is there. Looks like Delta because of her belly. Yeah, that's Delta, all right. That's Delta, all right, look. Has that got Delta written on her belly? Who's got your belly? 
Fish get your belly. Three thirty. Yeah. Cool. Wow, wow, wow. Slow go day at Heathrow, man. So how's everybody doing anyway? Uh, Bobby Fitzsimmons, operator of Boeing 787s powered by Rolls-Royce Trent 1000 is set to be instructed to conduct engine checks after cabin depressurization, something to do with compressor blade cracking issues. Uh, yeah, we've, we've, th I, th I think that might be something that we've been known about for the last two years, Bobby. I don't know if uh, that's an, in addition uh, to the already um, current issues that uh, the Trent 1000s have. Um, Isabel Smith, uh, Debbie Speller, Lloyd Burgess, Delta 330, thank you. Joe Smith, Kathy Marshall, good afternoon. Laurie Kay, George Perry. Um, George Perry, a uh, new member by the looks of it. Thank you, my friend. Nigel Moss, Stevie Luskin, MD Hewitt, Elaine Bird, English Rocker. Okay, we do have uh, Peter Gilchrist, good afternoon. And of course, George Perry, there we are. New members right there on, Faith, on the YouTube uh, channel membership. Good afternoon to you. Yeah, it's not like someone's physically breaking into it. <laughs> I think I've got a, uh, yeah, no, I say. Triple seven that might be making its way around, unless it's just landed. I'm not sure. Still waiting. Is that um, possibly the 767 with Iceland Air coming out? Uh, Atul Chandra, good afternoon to you, Scott McLeod. Yeah, too right, mate. Very weird seeing it so quiet here at London Heathrow. This. Town is coming like a ghost town. Uh, Paul Martin, good afternoon. Gary Wilkes, my wife is six and a half months pregnant. Wow! Oh, good for you, mate, and congratulations. Um, Nancy, good afternoon. Uh, MKR telling me I've got another 380. Um, I think that might be it there. Uh, glinting against the sun there, Meow Shan. Ice particles glinting away. Yes, firing that seven six up. AP is not running. Egypt Air just touched. Is that another, is that, which carrier is that 380 then? Is that another Air France? Is it? Wow. Air France. Uh... A 7047. <laughs> oh, that's the one going to Bournemouth, who's just mentioned just now. Uh, Night, oh, new member uh, is giving a shout out. Welcome, Nightbot. <laughs> Nightbot spent money and. Uh... <laughs> like a Nightbot be a member. Keith Miller still busier than my local airport. Uh, Ice and there's 767 about to come out. Good to see. Stevie Luscom, that's the uh, one he mistook for uh, for um, Jet Airways earlier on. 
I can assure you if Jet Airways was in town we will uh, we'd be all over it like a fly on. Oh there it is, I can see it, I can see it, I can see it's been pushed back. So a good opportunity for the boys and girls in maintenance to get their aircraft down to uh, get down to maintenance. There's that 747. So it's another one that's going to go out like a skyrocket right in front of us. So I um, don't know if you saw the one earlier on, folks, but uh, 747 went out around about uh, about 500 yards from the from the turn-on point. She uh, reached for the sky. Like a 757. It comes at seven four. Okay, the great thing is that because we've got no movements here, uh, means that we're going to get the full cacophony. Oh, look at those two meeting in the middle. Look at that. Look at that. Bam! <laughs> Is that the Air Transat heading west? Transat 330, westbound. Probably off to Vancouver or something like that. Oh, they never stop the Irish. Is it Toronto, is it? They'll never stop the Irish, look. One of the busiest routes from London Heathrow, folks, Dublin. And what a fantastic show that was with our channel members. Great to, uh, great to witness and great to be part of. Thank you. I thank all. Seven four coming towards us now.
Go on, do a uh, intersecting departure, folks, right in front of us. And I've got BA 777, but looks like he's on tow. Listen to this. Rolls Royce RB211. High bypass ratio turbo fan. Passengers, no baggage, very little fuel, down to Bar Bournemouth of all places, man. She's got a blister on her. Sack car. Make a left, Sam. Go on, make a left. Go on, just for us. No, no, he's on the wrong side. He's on the wrong side. He thinks. Yeah, he's far too... Uh... I think he's too far across to make any... Intercept. Tail just down there at maintenance. Oh, being pushed back, ironically enough. Look at that, just as I zoom in on her, her tail's being, she's being pushed back. <laughs> Is it? Oh, okay, pushed back a little bit further. 140 departure time, folks. on our first ever commercial uh, service. There you go, what can you do? So this 747 that's going out, we should see her climb out at a rapid light of descent, ascent, sorry. Yes, it is late, it is late, she is late indeed.
Wow! I have to say, I have driven a golf ball further than that before. On a good day. Wow, that is nuts, man. Off to Bournemouth. Oh, I do love to be beside the seaside. I do love to be... Wow, look at the climb, man. I see where the brass band plays diddly a fun fun. Sorry. <laughs> That's nuts. Oh, look, Aeroflot's uh, 330 coming out. bars he's changed position now now I can get a good shot at him but, but he is working so I've got to be a little bit careful 330 here we go air flock 330 coming out Rated that departure is look. Oh, 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 Mr. Peasley, Mr. Peasley got a uh, yeah, no, it's it, Dreamliner. Coming out, and she's gonna. Uh... Oh, look at that! <laughs> I can't show you just yet. Okay, stand by. Just gonna wait for this. Diddly dum diddly dee. Gear up. Positive rate. Look at this BA777 being towed to remote. Find a spot, any spot. Possibly to make way for. Uh arriving aircraft tonight. We're going to have this um, Dreamliner that's, uh, you can see behind him or in front of him, uh, that that's going to be, uh, we might get the older start up. James O'Brien, yes indeed, Heathrow is very, very quiet without uh, British Airways. Very quiet. So I'd say, therefore, one in every, at least four out of ten departures and or arrivals into and out of London Heathrow on an, on an average busy day has got to, therefore. Be British Airways. I don't know if that is a statistic that is available on the internet. Uh, Mark Costigan. Yes, there is, my friend. Flight Radar 24 is the app that you need to search up for on your app store. Flight Radar 24, me old son. Oh, Daniel Morgan. Typhoon just gone over the house about 400 feet. Wow! 
some of all that. Uh, Alan B asking, anyone flown Aeroflot any good? Sure. Sure somebody has. Here we go. <laughs> it's about five minutes in it and then it's all over. <laughs> Shit. Two, three, four. Vince G. Vince G. Stansted in the Stansted in the seventies was noisier than this. Wow. Well, I'd imagine it would be with uh, PAC 111s, DC 10s, 707s. Possibly. I don't know. Paul Corson. Sahil Ahmed, good afternoon. Jose Fernando Campos Tola, tuning in from Venezuela. Good afternoon. Ricky Main, I'm a Heathrow watching your arrivals coming. Lovely day to watch the planes. Ricky Main, where are you? I'm giving you a thumbs up, my old son, wherever you are. Paul Corson. Paul Hooper, Cop Key. Good afternoon. Hammer B. That. Uh, Infuriating beep noise, uh, the alarm will go uh, very shortly, folks. All that. What's that? What's this? What's this? Is it a little Star Alliance? What was that? Is that lift? What was that? It's just landed. What's that? See him off. Good afternoon. Good morning from Florida. Uh, if they saw senior, I uh, like the Renaissance view very much uh, better. Thank you very much, my friend Mally Beard. Good afternoon. Al Hopkinson um, had the chance to come down today, but thought it wouldn't be that good with BA strike wish I had now well yes <laughs> oh look at that another bandit coming out bandit with um... well it's 145 so uh... Gould only knows where uh, Airways A350 under her own steam coming out. Oh, is she just going to gate? Maybe she's going to gate. Or is she just come in? What's going on there? Do we know? Shut up, shut up, I'm telling you. Car.
I wonder if it is possible to get a uh, get some kind of uh, notification to the front desk, get the registration number, get them to notify the uh, occupant or the owner. Although it looks to me like it's been just abandoned, that vehicle. Little lofty Neo. Uh, BA's 350 there oh uh, yeah she is under tow oh my god oh my word here we go here we go we're going to have some proper noise pollution now folks I hope he gets it done before Oh, 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 oh man, everyone's got to do their job though, haven't they? Oh, it's going to be terrible. Jilly, are you there? Oh. Just stand by, just stand by. Oh. <laughs> oh, it wasn't supposed to happen today, was it, eh? Things are coming down here, though. And he's got the big old two stroke and <laughs> Martok is going to get a 125 two stroke just fire it out in front of us. Oh come on mate. I don't know what's going on. Um, Jilly, try me on the other phone. Try me on the comms phone. I'll just switch it over now. Alan B moved to the Garden Hill. <laughs> Who are you going to call? Right, hold on, Jilly. I'm just uh, switching you over to the uh, thing phone. Make it the quickest bit of uh, no, no, it, is it? It's fine. It does not like. Oh mate, it's gonna get worse, it's gonna be right opposite us as well, isn't it? Just as that flipping thing taxi down. Cutting the tiniest little bit of grass. 
doesn't even really need doing. <laughs> it doesn't even need doing, look. He's cutting more of the fence than he is the grass. Oh well, what can you do, man? <laughs> grass cutting on Big Jet TV. Come on, son. That's it, there you go. Go on, quick as you can, mate. Look, it's just cutting mud. <laughs> mud cutting. Stevie Luskin. Can you hear me? Okay, trying to, still trying to get you on the Bluetooth, Jilly. Hold on a minute. <laughs> Hold on a minute, GP. Oh, flipping alarm started up again. It's all gone wrong, folks. Not happening, is it? It's not happening, mate. It's not bloody happening. Uh. <laughs> Wayne Harrison. Might as well be me, old mate. Good afternoon. Well, at least we've, um, looks like we've completed the, uh, wow, look at this Air India, triple seven. Has he just come in or is he going out? Sorry, Jilly, man, I'm trying to. Now the old bill. Now there's a fire. <laughs> God. I'll get me coat. I don't know what's going on here. I feel like going and smashing the sh I wish you'd turn up the geezer who owns that motor. I wish you'd turn up. worth me um, getting the reg and then uh, going into reception seeing if they've got because uh, uh, don't they take your registration number down if you're a, if you're a resident if you're a, if you're a if you're staying in to the hotel not easy son
talk amongst yourselves, folks. <laughs> Gotta laugh, ain't you? Hey, 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 football, football, hey, hey. Internet, internet, son, on me head. Mate, how long has that been going on for, man? Oh, oh my God, that's unbelievable! Unbelievable. How long has it been going on for, man? Ten minutes, five minutes. Oh, right. Oh, my God. yeah. technical glitch there folks just going to uh, uh, make a little tiny um, on-site repair here just to make sure that that doesn't happen again it happen again because you blame me really do get it out so the camera's going to pan up for just a brief second at Christmas time Okay, here we go, here we go. Right, lift that up. Lift, two, three, up, two, three. <laughs> okay, so the geezer stopped his uh, trimming. The, um, the car alarm for now has uh, shut the hell up. So, um, Mr. Shrubshaw's telling us uh, just then that the, apparently the reason why the A350 is going to be taken out of service after uh, this, uh, this flight is apparently because the first class compartments uh, have not yet been FAA approved on the sliding doors in first class. 
which is a very important and very interesting piece of information. Oh, Stephen Owens, thank you, my friend. Matt 52, Skunky 420! Mally Beard. And Picos, uh, if I didn't... Uh, if uh, your name was read out during the uh, glitch, then um, my apologies. A Christmas time. <laughs> Might as well be the delays we've been having. Happy Christmas, everybody. <laughs> What is your favourite colour? Bring out the holy hand grenade! It's Roy in air, is it? Hello, dear. It's a little diggy going in over there with his little tuglet. Come on, Virgin. Sort it out, son. Go load of people waiting all over the world for you. RT's, uh, RT's crew down there, all the boys. Oh, upper class David Rourke, sorry, yes, uh, upper class, of course, yes, yes, yes. Shaker saying, uh, I hear we're going to get another beast from the East later this year. What's that, another service? Uh, an additional Emirates 380 or uh, what's that? Oh, right. Oh, OK. Wow. Yeah. Another, um, a, another. Uh... Oh, OK. Yeah. I love the way the media uh, predict um, that we're going to get climatic conditions like, like it's going to be the coldest year of winter ever, you know. Um, but how do they know that? I mean, you know, you can only do sort of like five or six days ahead, Meteorolog meteorologically, should I say. Oh, Wade Perry, good point. At least the uh, boys and girls up in the tower have, are having a very relaxed day, aren't they? Coffee and, and chocolate donuts and all kinds of things going on up there. So uh, if anyone's watching up there... beard. Ashford window tints. Stevie Luscombe. Speedway chips. Speedway chips. Can't quite figure out what that is. Speedway chips. He likes his speedway and he likes his chips. Yeah, maybe he likes the chips. Maybe he's a uh, someone who makes the chips at the speedway. Maybe he's got a little, uh... Yes. He could be an American who, like... Broken tug! <laughs> David Rock saying, a broken tug on the, um... on the 350. Wouldn't they just... Well, they're obviously just unhitched the thing and... Oh, mind you, mind you, if it's broken, then you need to, they need a tug to tow the tug away. Here's one for you, RT. Uh, you've probably fr flown this ship before. Look, look, look. Is it being towed? Yes, it's being towed. BA's 350. They just want to look around, don't they? They want to they get a little bit of the action and all, don't they? Hey, hey, football, football, penalty and all that. <laughs> Stephen Macy. No, you haven't missed it. Wayne Harrison. Branson's, Branson's lad at his tights. <laughs> One of Richo's kites. Is triple seven three hundred ER second uh, Air India departure of the day had their Dreamliner earlier on looking very smart. This could be a uh, straight out departure. 
Tiernan and Beard. See the rudder crank right over, that's him steering it. Here we go. She'll make a left turn, I would have thought. Or is she gonna go right? She's going likely uh perhaps she'll head over North London. Alright, oh, okay, so he lives in Reading, he loves his speedway. Reading's got a good speedway, uh, I believe. Um, and he uh, is chips is his speed is his uh, nickname. So there you go, Speedway Chips. Brave boys, brave boys race the old uh, Speedway. No brakes on the bikes, of course, on speed in Speedway. Not like motocross, where they got brakes. So what do we got on the field? Let's have a little loop around. She's on radar, folks. Velux, is it Velux or is it Velux? Velux windows. <laughs> Shaking Maker Virgin 1532 is on radar. Thank you. Glenn Knowles eating a lardy cake. Oh, cut in. Gorgeous. Uh, VS taxi in. Not yet, no. Okay. With any luck, she'll um, come out between terminal five and terminal two and three. Saw her when uh, when I came back from Ireland, uh, from Dublin. She had her purple um, mood lighting on on board. Looked very very swanky, sexy, velvet, red velvet, wasn't it? Hey, 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 hey! One of our T's. Here we go. Fire it up. Pratt Whitney's. I think, or are they CF6s? I'm not sure. I don't really know. Wow, ah, long hole.
dark at 8 o'clock, mate. Fantastic. Oh, that is fantastic. Man. Okay, folks, we're going to get a great look at Velux. She's going to taxi right past our position, like, just like this uh, 777 is doing. So if I cut away from any of these aircraft, folks, that's because... Uh, Virgin's 351,000 is going to be making its way up between that gap there, uh, between terminals uh, 2 and 3 and terminal 5, the satellite terminal 5 channel, uh, terminal. to appear right in that gap there and here she comes now here she comes now bit of a uh, bit of a messy shot but uh, Stephen Billings talking about Santa Pod. Do like Santa Pod. Little Brit everywhere asking, how does it feel about uh, London Heathrow being so quiet? Well, it's a break from the norm, it has to be said. Uh, we were looking at um, possibly trying to figure out the statistics of um, number of aircraft, number of British Airways uh, aircraft that were uh, so, sort of like for, for every 10 aircraft that go out, maybe four or five are British Airways, um, which is the reason why the everything is so quiet at the moment. Okay, so she needs to pick up a little bit of speed, otherwise she's going to be stuck behind a BA777 all the way up the taxiway. So come on, girl. Get those big XWBs fired up and taxiing. And uh, let's hope that the fella in the tug is not trying to photobomb Velux. It looks like she's on the move a lot faster, so uh, you can just about see her big foot undercarriage. Slightly smaller uh, wheels than the uh, 777, has to be said. So her nose, she should appear first. Here she comes now. So let's get a good shot of her nose arc. So this is the most, this is the up-to-date nose art that they're running on the Virgin Atlantic's uh, next generation fleet. I can't quite pick that out because of the heat haze. I don't know if that's a good shot, GP, or what. Is it a pretty uh, dodgy shot or what? Maybe when she's a bit closer, we can pick it out. But looking good in the Virgin livery, I have to say. Looking pretty smart. So 
something that we're going to see quite often now. Who have we got on there, Jilly? Somebody on there, isn't there? One of the uh, reporters. Gilbert on board the aircraft. Not sure where you're seating, seated Gilbert, but uh, have a great flight, my friend. Enjoy the uh, hospitality of... Um, Okay, so now that looks pretty cool. Did he just look to his left, the old fella? Because they, uh, I seem to recall back in the day, back in the war, no, but back in the day, uh, Virgin did used to run the um, Union flag on the wingtip. Maybe that's something that they've um, stopped doing for legal reasons, I don't know. But it's quite. Is he just firing up an engine? So mixed opinion on the uh, Virgin livery versus the BA livery on the 350. Close run thing, personally. Do like the BA, it has grown on me, I've got to be honest with you. Lamppost in the way there. Don't you love a lamppost, eh? John Allen, Stevie Richards, John Hughes, MKR, Kevin B, Isabella Smith prefers Virgin. A lot of uh, a lot of positives coming from Vir for Virgin at the moment. Trish Peters, good afternoon. Pearson, uh, Satitha Das, good afternoon, Paul Corson, good afternoon to everybody watching right now across the world, wherever you are, whatever time of the day it is, Mark Scrivy, watching while I get tipped sunny here, while I get tipped sunny here in Paul, Tony Strickland, Gary McIntosh, Steve Stefano Marino, Good afternoon to everybody watching. Wow. He 
listen in comparison to the uh, sound of those um, so that sound of those old um, CF6 engines compared to uh, these brand new ultra efficient Trent XWB engines still with a titanium fan blade um, but uh, obviously with a lot of 3D printing printed components on board the engines here we go Of a lamppost. Thanks, guys. Because <laughs> let's face it, you really do need all these lampposts down here because um, there's just not enough, you know. Look, look, I mean, you, you know, you need a lot more lampposts. Don't you? What can you say, eh, folks? That car alarm, it couldn't have come at a better time. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, man. You know, I just, if I could just... Really? You know? Yes, yes. Wow. So therefore, 50% of departures and arrivals on a daily basis, five out of 10, are, um, are British Airways. So that's why we're seeing a distinct lack of traffic. Oh, yeah. Or oh, 50% of, of all flights, you mean. Yes, right.
don't give people ideas. Yeah. Oh, I know, I know, man, I know. Disable it, should disable it, really. It's worth going in there and asking them that, isn't it? Because then at least we know in future if we've got a, a pesky fire alarm, uh, car alarm, yeah. It's a proper pikey motor as well, it's all beat up and smashed to pieces, looks like someone's tried to break into it and all that, you know. Hey GP, are you uh, standing by with the titles? Another RT special. the old Phil giving us away. <laughs> can you believe it? <laughs> yeah, can you tow this flipping... Probably find it someone like Martin Erd or Casey Frazee or Clyde Clark Watson will uh, say, oh, we put it there. <laughs> Dumbass. Hey, here we go, look. A346. Casey Frey. <laughs> Should just get on with his own stuff, really, shouldn't he? Rather than get involved in other stuff that he doesn't know anything about. But there you go. Oh, now I've lost you. You there, GP? Oh, well. this Virgin 346. Hold on a minute, let me get this 330 and then I've got the 346 and then we're uh, then we're good to go. So folks just gonna just gonna hang on this one here. Proper old girl though. 
We need to take every opportunity we can. What's that? Oh, this one has, is it? Ah. Oh. Gary McIntosh. Ah, oh, yes, she has got the uh, Union flag on the wingtip. So we uh, need to um, take every opportunity we can to see these A346s going out or coming in. Um, <laughs> Stephen Rick. <laughs> uh, just because um, the rumour is that they're going to be retiring these aircraft uh, over October and November, throughout October and November. So um, be prepared and get the... Um, Get the tissues at the ready. Oh. Martin Hurd posing as a member of the Greater Manchester Police the other day. Quite an interesting little uh, thing happening there. I'll tell you what, the old, um, the old Greater Manchester Police were most interested when I told them about that. <laughs> most alarming, somebody saying. <laughs> 13 year old Stephen Ackerley. Uh, 13! That's young, isn't it? Let's face it, folks. That's young for an aircraft, 13. It's terrible. It's a terrible thing that they're putting in. It's just because they're just uneconomical. Um, big four engine jet, four engines, lots of fuel, lots of burn. Yeah, Walter Sobchak, yeah, still a young pup. Matty Beard. Uh, Hilary Todd, yeah, we do have uh, heat haze issues, obviously. Virgin apparently, well, Rolls-Royce claiming that Virgin Atlantic will have the youngest and most um, uh, efficient, fuel efficient fleet in the world by the year 2022. So obviously that will mean, um, I'd imagine, retiring their uh, 346s and also their uh, existing 330s in favour of the 330neo and the A350.
beautiful jetliner. Can you believe that one of those is already soon to be entered into a museum? <laughs> Absolutely crazy. A museum piece. <laughs> Who would have thunk it, eh? I mean, blimey, it's not an Avro Lancaster, is it? Oh, there you go. Speedway chips. I'm going to be a little bit closer to the camera. There you go, folks. How you doing? Uh, thanks for tuning in. Really appreciate your company. Um, we will be back tomorrow uh, for the midweek show, Wednesday, live from London Heathrow. Not quite sure exactly where we're going to be at this stage. Uh, it will more than likely be here at the Renaissance, uh, just because they've got a little bit of repair work going on up at the Hilton Garden Inn. Hello to Richard, if you're watching right now, my old friend. Um, but, uh, yeah, back tomorrow to, um, to London Heathrow. And then on Sunday, we'll be in Manchester. And I know there's some people there who want to meet me in Manchester. So I will be looking forward to meeting them in Manchester. Um, if you get what I mean, nudge, nudge, wink, wink, say no more, me old squire. Um, but yeah, so um, we will catch up with you tomorrow if you want to join in. Back to normal tomorrow with a channel membership, full two-hour minimum show, and uh, then uh, 20 minutes uh, for free view. Uh, if you want to find out everything about Big Jet TV, all you need to do is head straight to the website, bigjet.tv, right there on your screen. And, uh, yeah, we'll catch you tomorrow, folks. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, congratulations to Virgin Atlantic, and uh, we will see you tomorrow. All the best. See ya. Bye. TV.